And yeah, chilling with my man Ron Do. You know, checking this game out. Wizards just got them. Took that quick L. Dre. Yeah. Damn. Rico Suave. He got that good stuff too. You got juices and berries. <laughs> <laughs> You got, you got a little Indian in it, though. Yeah, you know, yeah, you Dominican. Yeah. Lumpy, lumpy. Lumpy. Lumpy, look it up. <laughs> look it up, look it up. <laughs> My man, oh, look at the look, look at the sock. The shoe game is crazy. Uh, 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 come on, man. I like the best. My man. Day. My man. I got these some flavors back in the day. I held on to them. Say word. <laughs> My man. Underground connection. Yes, sir. Underground. Dig it. Oh, underground connection, man. Yes. It's the underground yes. connection. You made me think I can sing on that joint, man. Yes, indeed. My man. Yes, sir. Just a little, you know, chilling, kicking back before we go on the show. You know what I mean? Get my fruit and water in. Live, live, 97.5. I already got the good look. Reggae, reggae, reggae Paul can't stand out. He's in the building. Reggae Paul, always in the building. <laughs> no, I mean, in, I mean in a good way, good brother, in a good way. Boy, <laughs> oh, I, I don't know. Uh, well, you know, look like I have a rival here, little gentleman. No. Uh, you know what? Hey, listen, man. Um, you know, everything is everything, man. No, Daniel, you know, it's just a, it's just a, a family thing, you know. No uh, doubt, if no we doubt. Can, if you can't stand jokes, stand out. Exactly, you know, exactly. That's how it goes, you know what I mean? But anyway, man, um, you know, you have your guests tell me, oh, but pretend like you don't see me, Daniel. <laughs> 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 we got the jazz, we have to get the Jazzy Jeff button. <laughs> my man, I love Reggae Paul, that's my man right there. Got to mess with him always, man. We won. Backtrack a little bit and talk about it. Yeah, yeah, because you know what I'm saying y'all had this is not new. Not to y'all at all. Y'all been doing this for a minute. Yeah. So uh, I've just, been doing it for too long, actually. <laughs> but you're still here though. Yeah, that's the good thing. That's Perseverance, good thing. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Never giving up. Call me the young Bobby Brown. But just talk about the process, you know what I'm saying, from when y'all first started. Because y'all had some y'all had some deals, like some real well, deals. Well, uh, let's yeah. see. That started back in like way back in 95, 96. Mm -hmm. um, I was signing Megadon Records. That's the label put out a deal that Howard, you know, freak like me, freak in the morning, freak in the weekend. She was nothing like that. Good church girl. She wasn't no freak. Sick. Um, yeah. <laughs> you, you know from personal experience? No, 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 no. Oh. Oh, okay. I wasn't around. I wasn't around. Oh, you, just, you just heard about it. You heard about it. I was just in the corner watching. Like, Ooh. Ron, you told you about it. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Look, Ron's standing there like, not, not me. Back then, he was at once Salem State making good grades and not going to parties and stuff like that. You know, uh, like, that's a lie. <laughs> Let's go, Ron Duke. Let's go. 
Everything, Urban, Donnie, O, J, Mo, G, C, R. Yeah, yeah. Man, that's your super hot, man. Super hot. Thanks, that, man. That, that's that, that's, that. that's more than a song, man. That's like a testimony. That's that's church. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you, you said you, you performed that at church? Yeah, we did it today. Today. Yeah. Today. Yeah. Yeah. Speak yeah. on that. Um, It was just, well, this song actually was, uh, this was the last song on a, on a, uh, unreleased album that we were doing, mm -hmm. right? And I, and I said to Dre, I was like, yo, let's just do something real positive, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Let's do something different. And so, you know, we found a sample and we put it all together and that's what we came up with. And my mom was always like, yo, I, I'd like to hear something, you know, on the lines of like gospel rap, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like y'all could actually do something different, you know what I mean? So. Mm -hmm. That song was basically for her. I just wanted to do something different. You know what I mean? Yeah, no doubt. You know, something positive. I know how the moms joint go because I, when I was heavy in the DJing, like my in the dad late, too. My dad yeah, too. in the late eighties and early nineties, man. And I was always, I'm always playing Big Daddy Kane. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? And moms is like. See, the there you go playing that Big Daddy Kane. <laughs> she thinking Kane like cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> I was like, no, it's King Asiatic. Nobody's, Nobody's equal. equal. Right. And I actually yeah. played some Big Daddy Kane. I played Word to Mother. And that's another listen. joint. And she was yeah. like, oh, mm -hmm. he's actually positive. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, I was in the Jungle Brothers tribe. But because of that stigma of hip hop, Rock Everything Kim. was a street right. Yeah. Rock Kim, all that care yeah. rest, like you mentioned earlier. And she probably liked Public Enemy, didn't she? Yeah, yeah. Them yeah. was my guys, P.E. Yeah. Oh, no yeah. question. I'm ready to the street when yeah. it come on. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. 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 Oh, come on, see, you know, come on. See, see. <laughs> or you call your mom's car and leave an NWA uh, yeah. joint in the, in the deck. That's not good. Yeah, not even, But you know what's crazy back then, man? I ain't even listened to, like, them cats. You know what I mean? I was oh, yeah? just a straight East Coast dude, man. It wasn't, I ain't get into NWA until, it was a couple of joints. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, but I wasn't, like, I was just strictly East Coast, you know? Yeah, um, right. And Outkast came around, they kind of, Build me in Scarface and they kind of build me. I said, right. I got out of that East Coast. You know, I mean, started diversifying myself and listening to, you know, different music, you know what I'm saying? And um, man, it, it's just, and, and I'm, I'm leading this all the way up to this point here is the fact that today everything is so cookie cutter and everybody sounds the same. Right. You know, back then you had so many choices. If you want to listen to Biz and be on some comedy type tip, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Even yeah. Jazzy Jeff from Fresh Prince, you know what I mean? Right. It was dope in, 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 in the beginning, mm -hmm. yeah. you know what I mean? But yeah. it was like more like comedy rap, but it was a lane for that. Yeah, yeah. I think that's what keeps us going. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just certain things that we just can't listen to that we just, you know, make our own music and listen to our own music, you know what right. I mean? Just for the love of music. Right, right. You know, we just stay busy that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, plus I always had this rule, if I couldn't play it for my father, then I can't make it. So okay. most of the music that I've always made has either been something positive or I'm a singer, so yeah. love songs or something about being in love or, you know, having a church background that is a gospel song or something. Mm -hmm. So it's always been like, for me, it's always kind of been there. It's just, you know, you have different times in life where you, where you step into that format and you do what you do or, you know, like there was a, a, a time in my life where it was just strictly about making quote unquote as the old folks say rhythm and blues music mm -hmm. you know um 
But then as I got older and started to appreciate music for what it really was, then it was, I started finding myself doing more spiritual stuff and more popish type stuff, even though I don't like it. But, you know, it's just, like you say, when, when you got to change with the times and you got to diversify. And mm-hmm. if you don't diversify, then you don't grow. So, yeah. you know, and that's that's really the thing about it. You know, as long as you're doing music, you grow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some of these young cats still, they're not really getting that. You know, they they look at it as, I can put my mama out of the projects, and I can drive a nice car, and I can wear these expensive shoes or whatever, mm-hmm. but then, like, at the end of the day, what are you leaving? You yeah. know, what, what, what's your mark on the world other than this crappy song you made and those Giuseppe shoes that you had on it? It doesn't matter. <laughs> I, think, I think a lot of that, I think a lot of that, what you're talking about, I mean, obviously it's true. Um, but yeah, if you think about it, which kind of like almost dating myself a little bit, but um, a lot of those kids that's coming up today, you know, with, with that, um, you know, the music that we're talking about today, I mean, honestly, so I don't know, for me, it would be my kids. You know what I mean? I mean, we're that's our generation of kids. You know what I'm saying? And I think we dropped the ball on that. You know what I mean? I think a lot of it is due to us because we never, we didn't, we didn't bridge the gap, you know what I mean? We didn't te- we didn't do our part like our parents did. Our parents kept that that old soul in our ears, whether we liked it or not. Well, I mean, I think you yeah, don't do with that. Some like of us, with some of like like for instance, if, if my kids in the car right now mm-hmm. and I throw in an Earth, Wind, and Fire CD, they're singing along. Mm-hmm. If I throw in a Layla Halfway CD, they're singing yeah. along. Like they, they, if we listen to Bruno Mars, they listen to everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. Like you said, it's about diversifying and showing mm-hmm. them different things. Like my son, on the other hand, he's kind of yeah. caught up in that, you know, little yachty crap. But I also see he's growing and he's starting to see that that's not really music. That's just noise, mm-hmm. you know. So I think some of this generation is starting to get it. But, I mean, right now, it's just a, a over influx of garbage. Yeah, and, and, and I, you know, of course, you know, there's always, uh, you know, it's not across the board, you know what I mean? There's always exceptions to the rule, but I think overall, um, like I was saying earlier, I think we dropped the ball on that. And also with, we don't have MTV, we don't have Rap City to play underground cats, you know, yeah. cats that, you know, if you don't, if it's not mainstream, they don't know anything about it. True, you know I mean? that's true. They wouldn't know about Torre, Sky Zoo, you know, these guys that in their early 20s that's like, in the in in vein of Red Man and Method Man, it can spit, you yeah, know what I mean? When the Donios and the Ron G's of the world start making mixtapes. <laughs> <laughs> see, and see, I ain't trying to go to jail. But see, see the industry yeah. now, they make it, and you, the DJs, you can't even sell the joints. You got to give them away for free, you know, for real. free. Yeah, that's you know real. I mean? you, you yeah. know how that is. So, um, the mom and pop record stores, you know, remember, um, Groove City, um, Sounds of um, Chumpy. Chumpy's Chumpy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That shuts that, that joint down right now. You know what I mean? Because yeah. you know you, you had the mixtapes. You know I had the mixtapes back in the day. You know what I mean? You yeah. can't sell them joints no more. DJs can't even make them anymore. So that takes away from the promotion that the underground cats or the cats who are not known would get. But so now it, it, you know Paola just killed everything. Yeah, but you the know? DJ still has the ear. Like for instance. Oh yeah, true, true indeed. Yeah. Like Khaled. You know what I'm saying? Khaled is bringing you, he's putting together artists that you would never put together. Like, what do you got? Justin Bieber and what is it? Quavo or whatever it is? Right, yeah. That's, yeah. That's, that's that's what DJs do. You know what I'm saying? So I think when the DJs step back up to the plate and start being, you know, DJs again and realizing their place in, in hip hop, because that's really what we're talking about right now, then, you know, things will change a little bit. Yeah. And. Right now, you know, for the DJs and all that, it's about the money. So if it ain't making money, straight up, they not doing it. You know what yeah. I mean? Straight up. <laughs> Live ninety seven point five. Everything urban. Donnie O. J. Mo. Man, they rocking with us. I'm gonna throw some shout outs out there. <laughs> shout out Tink Potter, Darren Hill, King I King I Original. Gary Gillespie, Antone, Tony Steele, Lamar Hopkins, we got LaRonda McCready in Groove City, Octavia, Lonnie Jolly rocking with us, Cedric, Cedric uh, Stanley rocking with us. Man, they on here, bro. Yeah, baby. And we ain't done yet. And we got requests for Ryan Dude to do a little something. We got that right now. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me try to lace this up with a little something. So, um, yeah, yeah, I got this nursery rhyme. 
<laughs> go ahead, go ahead, kick it. Really? Nah. <laughs> nah, you, you want me to go ahead and hit the door? You don't want me to go no. nursery run. Right. <laughs> yeah, CC ain't going for that one, buddy. No, sir. No, sir. My <laughs> bad. Wear it up. So, y'all, this, you ready to go ahead and hit the door? Yeah, yeah. Okay. go right into it. Okay. Wear it up. This is a little something, man. And, uh, man. and, and that's why I, I, I like y'all. I, I love y'all always, you know what I'm saying? Because you're an artist. There's a difference between just making songs and being an artist. Right. You know what I'm saying? We talked about the, you know, um, having an influence, you know, your pops and your moms and just growing up with the, the, you know, the 70s soul and then and, and, and embracing that and then and hip hop and then all that and it's all coming together and putting that all together to create you. Yeah. And what y'all do. I mean, I'm more of a, a songwriter. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like freestyling and, and battle rap and all that, you know, mm -hmm. I don't do too much of that. Mm -hmm. I'm more focused on writing songs, making songs that I can put out and possibly make money off of. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like a tunnel vision focus on trying to, you know, prosper on my talent. Mm -hmm. No doubt. I but I will kick some bars though. That's my man. man. <laughs> <laughs> my man, two short set years ago, he's like, man, I don't kick freestyles, man. I'm like, yeah. wow. He's like, Psh. I don't get my styles out for free. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's all about the rock, baby. Right. You know, get that bag. You know what I mean? Like the gentleman mm -hmm. said, secure the bag. Yeah, yeah. It's the new lingo, I guess, right? Yeah, it's too new for me. Liddy. You ain't gonna, you gonna get Liddy? Nah. I don't <laughs> <laughs> you ain't gonna get Liddy for the city, baby? Liddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stay in my lane. No question. That's I, st I still use the R word. Word. <laughs> hey, I, I say word up until they put me in the dirt, man. Word up. Right. You got the camera pose for this picture. My competition is froze. No bailout from the government. Y'all devil sent. Strip you of your power for the power of the dollar. A recession like your rhymes go. We be on tour with Lil Wayne. You be at home. We in Chicago. Your ass TP can't see me. The whips, the chips, the chicks came easy. We in Miami, South Beach with scooters a block from the Versace house eating good, no hooters, staying off Collins, catch me on notion. I'm brolic and these two for one more toes make two alcoholics. But it was Shay Brooks that fell off the scooter and broke his leg when Billy was filming the broken leg movie. He broke his leg, which means this picture ain't successful in the making. Freedom Films, Rue City Records, still hating. We got a Barack Hussein Obama game. We own things. You got your whip up in your mama's name. The game changed and it don't stop like did it. So they take that, take that in every city. Get dough, get dough. That's the model I know. See, my wife got bills and my kids need clothes. So I can't stop rhyming and I gotta spit flows. Been doing it for so long, I kick it and go. Wicked is flow. My competition really, they know. I write the best rhymes. It was in a thong. Your mama sing along. Do get paper, do get paper. Screw all them haters. Yo, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna chill with that. Yeah, I'm gonna let my man M. Dot get on the mic real quick. Yeah. Do his thing. Well, y'all thought I was gonna rap, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Shout out to my kids, man. Word. That's why I'm here anyway. Yeah. GCR thing. Andre Terrell. Something exclusive for you. Here we are, just us two, why do we fight the way we do, can we find a way to get along, erase the pain, forget who's wrong, sounds like a simple thing, but the task is hard. Girl, here's my hand Girl, here's my heart Get a melody Can't you see? Explain to me We were meant to be Happy we will always be Get a melody Can't you see? Explain to me We were meant to be Happy we will always be Get a melody Let me ease your mind Let me ease your soul I got a love for you 
from your head to toe I don't want to fuss and fight I only want to make things right See, baby, if we make things right New love begins tonight Can't you see? Explain to me We were meant to be Happy we will always be Get a melody Can't you see? Explain to me We were meant to be Happy we will always be I can't eat I can't sleep I can't breathe What you doing to me, yeah Will this go on Is what I ask What would I do If this don't last I don't know what I would do If I lost your love I think I would go insane You're all I'm thinking of If you left me, girl, I know I could not go on If loving you ain't right Then I don't mind being wrong Can't you see? Explain to me We were meant to be Happy we will always be Get a melody Can't you see? Explain to me We were meant to be Happy we will always be So send me your location Focus on communicating I just want a time and place with you You send me your location Focus on communicating I just want a time and place with you With you, Ooh, yeah <laughs> Yeah, Bruce City with you, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Time and place. Yeah. <laughs> I won't be with you. I'm climbing through. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yo, yo, real talk yeah, though. That, that's the he, he make everybody want to sing. Yeah, I'm telling you, me. he make you think you can sing. <laughs> yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? I'm like, shit, yeah. I could do that. And then I get right. going, I'm like, I, my voice start cracking and everything. I did Man. it in church today. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> word up, yeah, word that's up. That's what's up. That's yeah, what's up. Yeah, that, that, that was dope. That was dope, man. I definitely appreciate that, fellas, man. Y'all, bless y'all for coming through, man. Always a pleasure. You know what I'm saying? Now, with, you know, y'all just dropped that. That was live, by the way, for those who don't know. Yeah, Just yeah. tuning in. That yeah. was live, man. And, and actually, that was just for y'all. That's like fresh today. So if you haven't recorded it, you missed it. Wow. <laughs> Man, incredible. It's man. still copyrighted though. Don't, don't sleep. <laughs> no question. No question. No question. You know what I mean? That's the seasoned veteran coming out. You know what I mean? Yeah. You gotta take care of the business first. Oh, all the time. Yeah, all the time. So, so we, can we look forward to any projects coming soon from y'all? Um, music wise, there's always gonna be something coming, something dropping soon. But uh, right now, the focal point is gonna be on this music festival we put together on uh, September the second. Uh, stay tuned. There's going to be a lot of info coming your way. It's going to be a lot of stuff for the family. Um, it's going to be cheap, which is always attractive to me because I got kids. And every time we go somewhere, they want something. So, no. you know, uh, <laughs> but aside from that, you know, there's always going to be music dropping. Thanks to you guys. Um, maybe we can talk to Ron and get some, some time on the regular slots. But anyway, uh, <laughs> like you say, it's always the business, man. I'm going to put that plug in there if I can no get doubt, some real man. drops because then get them. No doubt. <laughs> hey, but just real quick, not to give out too much information, you know what I mean? You kind of spoke on it, but just talk about um, the festival that, you know, we, we spoke about earlier. But again, not giving too much info, but just kind of the genesis, just the backdrop to that. Um, basically, it's going to be something where we can highlight all the local talent we got going on around here. Um, it's gonna be something, you know, music-wise for the for the family. It's gonna be gospel music. There'll be some alternative music. There'll be some hip hop. There'll be some R and B. Um, there's gonna be events for the kids. Um, there's gonna be vendors out there. So it's it's gonna be like it's gonna be a fun experience. And it's the last weekend of the summer, the official last weekend of the summer. So we're gonna send it off right. No doubt. Stay tuned for more. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, man. Any shout-outs before y'all bounce? Yeah. Uh, 
Big Los, um, uh, my wife Candy, mom, pop, you know, family, kids. Go ahead, Dre. Yeah, uh, like everybody in Groove City, and Groove City ain't just Cambridge. That's nah. everybody that can hear me right now. You know what I'm saying? And I'm on Facebook Live, so that means we worldwide right now. So that means everybody. Yeah, shout out, out to everybody, everybody man. Uh, shout out my man Fat Meat Greasy as a comedian. You're gonna see him in September too. Uh, we love everybody, man. Yeah, we just yeah. want some positive movement type thing right at the stage of our lives, man. And just you know, want to do music. That's it. Josiah, Anaya, Anila, Nehemiah. This is why I do this. Cameron, Raekwon, you know, Selena, you know what it is. Word up, word yeah. up. Yeah. GCR, Group GCR. City Records. Already. Appreciate y'all for coming through, man. Always a pleasure. No doubt, Thanks, man. man. Thanks for having Have us. Fun. All right, all right. Lot 97.5, Jay Mo. Urban. Jay Mo. Let's roll. Let's roll. <laughs> Daniel, and we ain't done yet. You know what I'm saying? You got my man just been chilling in the back. He, he he's so smooth and suave, you know what I mean? Just in the back, like, you know what I mean? Like shh. That's what executives do. That's no doubt, no doubt. That's <laughs> that's what the money do. That's what the money do. <laughs> um uh, Jean Day, he's gonna be coming on and uh just talking about again, like we mentioned um earlier, um, you know, uh J Mo of course, you know what I mean he, he he's a man who wears several hats, you know what I'm saying, and um and he got a hat on right now, you know what I mean? <laughs> Look, we got the cameras facing one another, you know what I mean? Jeez! <laughs> Wait, <not. laughs> But um, yeah, a lot of times, you know what I'm saying, everybody wants to be on the stage and wants to see, you know, what it is. Um, you know, we, we see the, the lights and the cameras and we see, you know, the artists, but we don't know what goes on behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? So um, we're going to get into that, man. We, we got a gentleman who... Um, Definitely um, doing this thing, and uh, I, he's a very, very uh, inspiring young man. I mean, you know what I'm saying? He, you know, he put put his hand in politics, and, and, and I mean the whole nine, man. So um, always love his movement. Um, he's an artist himself. Always doing um, incredible positive things in the community, and uh, definitely wanted to get him on and just share some of the things that he's involved in. Coming home, um, we helping those type of people, people that that's in uh, renting. Uh, houses that are not up to code, all that type of stuff. So, you know, mm -hmm. we're doing a lot of different partners, um, community partners. Okay. okay. Also with um, Habitat. Uh, we're doing some work with Habitat as well. Okay, that, that's so. great. That's great. And, and, and it's good to see um, uh, a young black face there, a male, you know what I mean, involved. You know what I'm saying? And, and especially in terms of seeing the youth see you being involved in the community and seeing you doing what you're doing I mean that, that's that's very very uh, influential um, in what, what you're doing and you, you've always done that uh, and you had your hand in politics at one point too right yes sir yes sir um, you know I came up in an era where you know uh, the village helped raise us and uh, I think somewhere down the line uh, we got a, a little away from that um, so you know I'm still a firm believer that you know as a, a community we can come together and we can help each other out um, you know, to, to pretty much subtract some of that extra that comes in and try to uh, control what's going on in our, our urban neighborhoods. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely, man. And um, we're gonna keep this vibe going, man, because um, you know, what I'm saying we I, we talked earlier uh, about being not just on the forefront of, of music. You know, what I'm saying everybody wants to be an artist, everybody wants to be in front of the camera. Yes, but there's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. Yes, sir. You know, what I'm saying Jay Mo can attest to that. Um, so uh, we're going to get into um, that on the other side But right now we're going to get into another classics mix You know what I'm saying With DJ Ill Kid, the mixtape boss Yes sir Live 97.5 With Everything's Urban, baby Let's go You know what I mean And I'm like, okay Because I know you always <laughs> you always got you, you keep your hand in several different pots, you know what I mean? Right. So um just um speak on that situation and uh and any plans for that. Well, um the good thing about it is, you know, I, I started off as an artist. I, I, I basically I'm still an artist, but I, I kinda took the back burner to being out there in the performing world. Um, you know, I had to figure out what my why was. You know? mm -hmm. Um mm -hmm. and once I realized what my why was, you know, it, it told me that I needed to further my education on the business side of the music, mm -hmm. um, which is very important for any artist uh, out there. Because, like I say, you know, 
Uh, the talent part is the easy. You know, that's that's very easy. Either you got it or you don't. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, right now I'm in the process of building my knowledge with the music business on the business side instead of just the performance side. Mm -hmm. and, and Jay, speak on that a little bit because I mean, you, that's that's what you do. You know what I mean? Um, let's talk about. That being an avenue for, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody wants to be in front of the mic. Everybody wants to be on stage. So um, let's talk about, you know, other areas that, you know, they can tap into the music. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Man, um, this brother, we rapped on the phone one night probably about an hour and a half. And I was glad that he could use me as a subject to yes. talk to in regard, you know, to the production side. Um, you know, we spoke from everything from being an audio engineer to a lighting engineer to, you know, being a production manager. And I'm... Um, I'm glad to see somebody, you know, from Groove City that I know from growing up that's taking the same avenue and just enlightening themselves with the knowledge of what, what else is in the business besides being a rapper or being a singer, you know. So I'm proud of this brother because it's out there. I've been doing it for going on, man, I ain't going to tell you that how long, but, you know, <laughs> 25 years, put it that way, right, you know, right. and still doing it, you know. So I'm glad to see he's taking that avenue and, uh, you know, I'm going to help him each and every way that I can to help him out. And, you know, bring them along with me. However we go, that's how we're going to do it, baby. Word, word. You know, so I think being an artist, it, it sometimes overshadow, it overshadows other careers in the industry. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people don't know about those careers. I'm, I'm sure Armand learned some stuff from Full Sail and, you know, that he, he didn't know existed that you could participate in, in and right. still be in the industry and still have a... 20, 30 year career at doing mm -hmm. it. And, and be lucrative doing yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. Because at the end of definitely. the day, you know, you, you know, you, you got to be compensated. You know what I mean? No doubt. And, and especially, you know what I'm saying, you going to school, um, you, you put a lot of time and energy and and, and blood, sweat, and tears. And yeah. I mean, you know I mean, you don't got to break the bank, but, you know, at least I want to live well off of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not struggle, you know? I Tell mean, them you want yeah. that $80,000 bag, baby. Yeah. 80000 <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> given a lot of free uh, talent, you know, and I also share a jewel, so I, I figured, you know, at least if I get a degree with it, I can put a price tag on it. There you go. Definitely. Yeah. There you go. Yep. Yep. Put some value on it. Um, 100 days in office, you know what I mean? Yeah. And he was like, why are y'all making a big deal about 100 days when it was he who ran his campaign on his promises that he would make yep. within 100 days. It was him who gave this quote-unquote early deadline of what he would do and accomplish within yeah. 100 days. Right. And True. Then, yeah. And then 100 days get in, and it's like, ah, it's no big deal. Y'all made the big fuss over 100 days. Right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the problem, though. He's like, yeah. so, I mean, it, it, it's so, it's so, it really is comedy right now. It always had the whole, this everything, the campaign and everything. But now, it, it's comedy, but at the same time, it's real. It's serious. You know what I'm saying? Because this could affect all, how you feel about it. Well, I mean, I, I don't think he's taking it serious. I, I, I think, you know, he's trying to run the country as a, the businessman that he is, you know, that high risk. Yeah. You know, I'm going to go ahead and throw this in that basket and if it pops, it pops. If not, oh well. Oh well, you yeah, know. yeah. I, I always said um, he's running, I always felt this way. He's running the country. Like Suge Knight ran Death Row. <laughs> you know what I mean? Really <laughs> I though. Feel. Really though. You know what I mean? I'm like, yo, this dude For is real. Like, yo, he's oh. strong arming the country. Yeah. yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? And and it's crazy because his supporters can see that he does no wrong. You know what yeah. I mean? The first thing they want to do is bring up Obama's name. Yeah. Well, what about when Obama did this and what about right. when he did this? He's not in office right now. That's not who we have to worry about. You know what I mean? I, I heard one of his uh, report, well, his supporters, should I say, I heard one of them say on uh, a broadcast yesterday, well, he's doing the best he can do in his first half. <laughs> That's not good enough. <laughs> Straight right. up. The you know? best he can do? This is the president. Yeah. Come on, man. Yeah. You know, that's not the best for us. No question. And and, and, and you mentioned earlier, you know what I'm saying, he, he, you know, with him being, you know, the, the type that he's just throwing the eggs in the basket and, yeah. see, and see what happens. Mm -hmm. And... Now he realized, he even said out of his own mouth, he didn't realize it would be this tough, exactly. this hard. He didn't realize how tough the job was. To me, I, I think that's almost a pat on the back to Obama because apparently he made it look pretty easy. Pretty much. Oh, in, in, in Trump's yeah. eyes, you know what I mean? Because yeah. he's thinking, if this boom can do it, I know I can run the country. Right. right. You know what I mean? Yeah, true. And, 
So what you think, J-Mo? I mean, he, he's, he's got an idea that he can just go in and write executive orders and kind of run a dictatorship. Well, unfortunately, we're in right. the United States. Yeah. You know, it just doesn't work that way. Mm -hmm. And that's another thing, too, because with him being, I mean, he, he's a 70-year-old man. So not only is not, he's a 70-year-old, I don't know if he's a billionaire or not, but he got a lot of paper. I mean, and and, and the, the jury is out on how much he's really worth, but bottom line, he, he does have a lot of money. He has a lot of power, and he's not used to saying no. He's not used to being a yes man to anyone else. He's used to calling the shots. Right. So now he sees that it doesn't work the way he can sign all these executive orders all he wants. Right. But as you can see, you still have to go through the checks and balances. You know, that's how it is. You know what I'm saying? The judge could even not, you know, Congress, he has Congress in his hands. You have the you have a Republican House and Senate, and you still can't get laws and legislation passed through. That yeah. says a lot about True. how they feel about it. True, no doubt. He's uh, you know, he's like you said, he's used to doing whatever he wants to do. Right. You know, period. With yeah. no checks and balances. That's, That's it. it. That's period. it. Period. And it's not, it's not happening. Not to run a country. You know, you can't do it that way. Well, you have to do what's in the best interest of the people. <laughs> we say, man. He can't chop the 13 as the president. Yeah. Right. 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 No question. <laughs> he can't bankrupt on us, you know. So, no. Nah. So he got to stand in there and do something. Yeah, true indeed, true indeed. So, uh, just just throwing out there, you, do you think, um, I mean, and you got to realize, I mean, he's up there in age. You no, know, he's no spring chicken. And, I mean, you know, we saw Obama came in with, with dark hair and left yeah. out, you know what I mean, <laughs> <laughs> with the silver hair. It's stressful. Yeah. And, and, and my man, you know, Trump, hasn't been, he hasn't been in for, you know, three, well, a little over three months now, um, but not even six months. And he's stressing crazy. Yep. You know what I mean? He, he even said himself, he liked his life before being president. He hadn't even been in there six months. Let's take a bet. Let's see if he I was about to ask, how, how long you think he going to last? I'm going to give him three years and a half. At three years tops. Three, three years, years tops. tops. What about you, man? I think he's gonna write a budget in for more two pages, cause. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he got to do something, man, because uh, yeah, this joint gonna be falling out, man. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, and it's just only gonna get worse. It's not gonna get any better. Yes, indeed. indeed. And then, of course, uh, Mary J. Blige's new album came out um, last week. Strength of a Woman still going, I think. Mm -hmm. Likewise, I was about to say the same thing. I haven't heard it yet. Um, I have it, but I just haven't had a chance to, to sit down with it. You know what I mean? A joint like Mary, I like to sit down in my room, lights out, a little something, something, you know what I mean? And just um, get that vibe, you know what I mean? Yeah. I haven't been able to do that, but um, Jay, you heard any of it? I heard some real nice singles off of that. Everyone I heard that drop was tight. Okay. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Now, you, you know who did the production on that? No, I'm not sure. I'm uh, not sure on this round. Okay, okay. Yeah, definitely check that out. And then on the hip-hop side, MC8 and... Uh, DJ Premier, they're doing a the joint. Bro. Oh, oh, shit. Oh. East Coast, West Coast. East collab. Coast meets West Coast. Yes. And it's called Which Way is West. Man. Look yeah, forward to that. growing up in the hood. Remember that? Yeah. Remember that joint? Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, you know, back, he was on um, Minister Society. Yeah. Uh, yeah definitely. Man. Yeah. And ever since then, man, that was my man. Yeah. Yes, indeed. So I'm looking forward to hearing that. That should drop sometime this summer. And <clears> Kendrick. <throat> Uh, his his damn. He got a number one album. Number one. Yeah, yeah. And, and then he broke Drake's streaming record. Jeez. Look, look, Drake out of the top ten most streamed songs um, in music. Mm -hmm. Drake set a record earlier um, in the year. Oh, well, earlier in the month. I'm sorry. Out of the top ten, Drake had eight of the top ten songs. Mm -hmm. Kendrick said, "Oh yeah, I got yeah. the top nine songs yeah. in the top ten. One through nine. Oh, Kend that's incredible, man. Yeah. Incredible. What you think about Kendrick? I like Kendrick. I, I mean, you know, he, he has a different style, and he's, he's definitely holding it down for his area, man. And mm -hmm. Right now, the way he, he's winning. That's, yeah. That's huh. the best way to say it. You know, he's definitely winning. Yeah. And, you know, his followers are steady picking up, so. You mm -hmm. know, I'll tell you, um, when I first met Kendrick, I met him on a small tour called uh, Music Matters, BET. Okay. And uh, truthfully... They they couldn't they couldn't really buy him a show at that point. Look at him now. Oh yeah, no eight doubt, nine no Grammys doubt. later. Yeah, you know. Yeah, it was you crazy because Kendrick was like on the underground tip. Yeah, I, mean, I remember him. Um, shoot, man, it was like the early mid early mid like mid two thousands mid two thousands. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, mm -hmm. um, and I heard him. And I, and quite honestly, to be honest, I liked him then 
more so than I do now. Uh -huh. And I understand how you got to do, you know, you got to play the, the commercial game and play the radio game and all that, you know what I mean? But um, I liked him before, you know what I mean? You know, he did his joints with Dre, and of course now he's, shoot. He took off and doing his own thing now, I mean, where he's like, he's standing on his own too now, huh. you know what I mean? For real. But I'm happy for him, though. Yeah. Because he's lyrically... Um, one of one of the cats who's more lyrical, more thoughtful, more more um, kind of I would say um, uh, from my era that I like, which is real, real lyrical, which is good to see, um, considering all the mumble rap that we have. Yeah, I can't do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. You know. What is that? I like the Dre. I like the Kendrick joint and. Uh, Dr. Dre joined Compton. That's yeah, was serious. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, man. see that. You know? I, I like that Kendrick. Yeah, right there. yeah. You know what I mean? But it is what it is, man. I like him though. I like I, I like seeing him doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm more into the J Cole. I like J Cole. Yeah. You know what I mean? I like Torre. Torre is more underground hip hop. That's really more my speed. You know what I'm saying? I like Dave East. Dave East is dope. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that guy's setting the trend for us too. Man. Yeah, yeah. True indeed. True indeed. So it's, it's hip hop is not dead. No, still definitely. Still here. You got dudes like Nick Grant, smoking hot. Yeah, smoking yeah, and true indeed. You know? True indeed. That's the day. And uh, one more uh, time. Oh, oh, and also prayers to DMX, too, man. Uh, yeah. He just checked into a rehab again. Yeah. Um, he had to cancel a series of performances uh, due to an apparent medical emergency. I'm not sure what it is. Um, but again, man, he's just been struggling, man, for years um, with the addiction and just the lifestyle. Just no matter how successful one is, you still have to deal with those inner demons. And if you don't tackle them, and it's hard to do it by yourself, man. That's why you gotta have, I mean, I don't mean it's Sunday, I don't mean to be uh, churchy and stuff, but you gotta have a relationship with God. You know what True I mean? that, yeah. no doubt. It's hard to do it on your own, you know what I mean? Or if, if not, you're gonna be, you're gonna fight that demon anyway, even with God. But at least you got somebody with you right. to fight it with. You, right. you know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta have that spiritual battle. Exactly. Every day. Yeah. You know? Every day. Yep. But if you got somebody riding with you, it makes it a little bit better. No you doubt. Know? Yep. Definitely. Yeah, because we fighting that battle every day. It's like about it. I mean, I don't be like graphic and stuff. You know what I mean? But you got the little the little pitch, the little man with the pitchfork on one shoulder. Uh -huh. You got the little angel on the other. Uh-huh. Which way you love it. Yeah, exactly. Which way do I go? Believe it. Right. Right. You're like you better not. You're right, right, right. And but you but you're like, but it feels so good. Yeah. You know? It's a fight. Yeah, it definitely is. a fight. A fight with the flesh and all that, you know what I mean? So um man, again, prayers to them, man. Just hope he, uh, he get his things together, man. Talented brother. You know what I mean? I always thought he would be the next pop as far as like when I'm talking about like an artist trend, you know, going from artistry into film. Yeah. Uh -huh. He had that passion and whatnot. Mm -hmm. but, DMX, another dude that I met. First time out was with uh, uh, How to Be a Player. It was a movie premiere. Okay. And Def Jam. It was Def Jam. I movie. remember that joke. I seen him come out. This cat come out with uh, two pit bulls. I'm like, wait, a jumper with no, <laughs> with, you know what I mean? With, word, with word. no shirt on. I'm like, who is this dude? You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Killed it, though. You know what I'm saying? Word. Then again, I work with him on a uh, Rough Riders Cash Money Tour. I'm taking y'all back too far now. You know, no, so, no, that's what's you know, up. Um, yeah. Rough Riders Cash Money Tour. And, you know, once again, killed it. You know? Mm -hmm. You know? And, um, you know, back in those days, you know, DMX had a, had a couple dollars, you know what I mean? He went on Pennsylvania Avenue in Baltimore, you know, and, you know, started out handing out $20 bills, you know, because, you know, just to anybody on the street, because he, you know, he remembered when he was in Baltimore, right. you know, homeless, living on the street. So he, mm -hmm. he he pulled up on Pennsylvania Avenue and just started handing out money, bro. Right. You know, that's that's the type of dude he is. Yeah. You know, so hopefully he'll get it together, you yeah. know? And, and that's the thing, I think that, that the adversary, um, again, not to be too spiritual and stuff, but... He knows the brother's heart. Yeah. He knows what, what the impact, the positive impact that he can have. Yeah. And that's what it's all about. Yeah. You know, it's, it's all about, you know, letting your passion and compassion lead you. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. He's definitely that type of dude. Yeah. yeah. And I think, you know, it, 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 it's almost like, I know what you like. You know, I know what can I have to put in your path to make you stumble. Yeah. True. So if you're not strong enough to overcome it, or you Good. don't have that, that, that covering, you that protection. Word. Yeah, that protection. <laughs> you know, that protection. Yeah. You know, then being in the industry, you know, it's a lot of temptations in the industry. Mm -hmm. Lots of temptations. Fortunately, you know, I'm going to say I'm fortunate because, you know, I've been in the industry a long time, and I never got tied up with a whole bunch of temptations was out there because old school cats told me, hey, you know, you go on these tours, don't do this. You go on these tours, don't get hooked up with that. Right. You know what I mean? And I've seen a lot of people's careers come to an end because of temptations, you mm -hmm. know? You know, so you got to be careful, you know? Yeah. That's yeah. it.
True. Money and women. We know y'all. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and that's the thing, man. You know, you got to, and I know you know Jay, and you know what I mean? You got to surround yourself with, with people that's going to check you every now and then. Definitely. They be like, yo, you know, yeah. you can't have a bunch of yes men because, you know what I mean, you, you're going down the wrong path. and like, yo, yo, you need to chill. It's funny. Yeah. It's, it's, it's very funny you said that because, you know, that was also something I wanted to talk about. But, yeah, you need the realest. You know, you, mm-hmm. you need somebody who's going to tell you what it is instead of, you know, what you want to hear. What you want to hear. Yeah. 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 Definitely, man. And, um... And then the last uh, uh, here's a quick one headline is that uh, ESPN they cut 100 employees. Um, that, yeah, it's crazy. 100, 100. Of course, ESPN is owned by Disney. Right. You know what I mean. Right. And I think it, it played a lot into that because um, they were trying to shave 250 million dollars for their new fiscal budget. So obviously, that's a lot of bread. Yeah. You know what right. I mean? And so of course, obviously, that's a lot of employees. I wonder how many got seven. Huh. Yeah, that's a good question. That's a good huh. question. I you know, hey. let him go, or did they, you know, give him some nice little package? Depends if they were union or not. You know, I'm, I mean, right. me, I'm a, I'm a, I'm advocate for the union. You know, and being a, mm-hmm. you know, union, which we'll talk about some more about that. Um, unfortunately, sometimes if you're not a union member, you know, in TV or film or music, then hey, no severance, no retirement, none of that. You know, yeah. see you later. You know, yeah, that's it. Yeah, we're done with you. Yeah, yeah. definitely. And, and, but uh, with the ESPN deal, um, again, being owned by Disney, and what I've seen with ESPN is they're taking a path towards more shows like 30 for 30 and E60 and Outside the Lines, uh-huh. more shows that cater towards what's going on off the field and off the court, almost like, um, you know, of course, reality TV is taking over, so it's like reality sports. So I see them taking that route as opposed to, you know, with the just... Sports and the highlights and the, the anchors. I noticed because I noticed most of the the, the the folks that got cut, uh, fired were um, anchors, sports anchors, and sports reporters. So, um, but you have again a lot of the shows. Of course, Stephen A. Smith is still on, um, and, and and the first take. Of course, that's one of the more popular shows on there. Uh, and again, um, and he's paid his dues as a journalist through the years and everything. You know what I mean? So. Um, but there was a big uproar about him. You fire all these people, but you don't fire Stephen A. Smith. Yeah, I was. I saw that. Like, how did he make the cut yeah. and all that? Well, yeah, yeah, I've seen yeah. That. And, huh? I, and I'm like, wait a minute. Oh, y'all act like this dude is like an overnight success. I remember Stephen A. going back to like 99, 98 when he was at the Philadelphia Inquirer. Uh-huh. You know, um, he was at a newspaper. You know, he paid his dues. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's loud, brass. Sometimes you agree with him. Sometimes you don't. But brother has a lot of knowledge and he really he's he's very very astute and 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 and, and well versed not in just in sports but in, in, in social um dealing with social topics and issues and whatnot um you may not always agree with him sometimes i mean he's been called uncle tom he's called cooning i've said he's cooning <laughs> but at the end of the day you know what i'm saying he you don't have to always agree with the brother and, and or sister or whoever it may be. Um, it's like we get caught up into this. If you don't agree with me, you hate me. Right. You know what I mean? If you don't agree with me, you're wrong. I'm right. You're wrong. You don't know what you're talking about. You know what I mean? Then we start bashing each other and calling each other names and all that. What, you can have your opinion. I have my opinion. We keep it moving. Yep. That's it. And it's all good. Still love. Yeah. All it. But now we get so caught up in emotions and stuff mm-hmm. now. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just hard on our sleeves. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? What happens to, like, you know, having some type of, you know what I mean? Like, some thick skin. Everybody's huh. thin skin now. You know what I mean? Yeah, true. DJ Ill Kill is in the house. Cool. 
Smiling, never stalling, hit the skins better Shelter, love to tap her on the shoulder Roll her over, then I belt her Leave a bite when the joint is tight Lovely when it's loose, produce the proper juice Plus I never hump a juice Give me the head on the waterbed Play you like a pro head Slide the flavors on the sled Listen to what he said Come and lie on the bare skin Notice how the fur make him grin Cover the checks and then I go cash him in Hold the zipper, unlock and grab a whole bag of treats Hear the hooker slam the butcher with the bigger stack of meat Take two hands to hold it, flip it out and unroll it If you spot a brother larger than the next man stole it Uchi Koo now, you know the mecca on the bang bang Begging the pardon as I knock a new skin stank thing CL, kicking flavors with the grand poobah Speaking on the winds, I'm about to hit the skin You're partying with Partying with Web Entertainment The Blue King DJ Adon mm-hmm. 